Hello. Sometimes we totally screw up. We know that we did. We have no problem to admit it. We say sorry. But for others it is never enough. Because if you are on the other side, judging is so easy, it is totally riskless and mostly acceptable. And it feels so good to see the other one, you, writhe and suffer. It is not unusual for such public condemnations to overshoot the mark. What can we do? We have to take control of the narrative. And being the condemned target, nobody will listen to us. We simply don't get a say in this. As a communicator, this is most probably one of the more trickier situations. But after this video, you have a trick up your sleeve. Actually, a step that solves this for us. Right after this. What can you do to change the narrative if nobody wants to listen to the condemned sinner? Howl with the wolves instead of dying with the geese. What does that mean? Controlling the narrative means you have to get in front of this. You can't wait it out. If you have a stage, it works like I will show you. But your stage can be email, social media or video as well. But it works best in person. Remember, when you screwed up, people are angry. People will feel that a sorry is not enough. It feels good for them to judge you, because they feel in control by condemning you. So we have to give them something similar in exchange. What that is, you will see in a moment. So this is the situation. You are responsible for a bad mistake with consequences. You are sorry. But this mistake shouldn't make you a target for an ostracism. You know, that Greek court where people could vote to ban you from your hometown for 10 years. Start with the things everyone expects you to do. Everyone will at least hear you out to say how sorry you are. Because what they have in mind works much better if you already submitted yourself to their judgment. So, you say sorry. Tell them how bad this feels. It feels really bad to be you. And now comes the part where you take control of the narrative with one significant step. Literally one step. Doesn't matter if you step out left or right. You step out of your sinner self and change to be the prosecutor. You say, being sorry doesn't cut it, does it? At that point, people listening to you think, hey, that was my line. But yeah, you're right, it doesn't cut it. Now you point on the place you stood before. This guy shouldn't get away with just being sorry. This guy deserves to be punished. At that point, give your audience a moment to adjust, because you really flabbergasted them. This breaks the furor pattern people were in just moments before. You go on for a little bit. Show them that you are howling with the wolves now. After hacking a few more rounds on this virtual guy that was once you, on the stage you start to turn this around. The truth is, it will never be enough. Sure, we can destroy this guy and maybe he's had it coming. And we can discuss what's worse, that this was a mistake and not intentional. Is it worse that he just was in over his head? But does this really help? The real question is this. Did he learn from this? Could it happen again? You know, I don't want to be this guy right now. Now you step back on the spot you stepped out before. But I am this guy. And I know that I don't deserve your understanding. I don't deserve your mercy. Nevertheless, I will learn from this. 
Will I make mistakes again? Yes, most probably. I can't promise you otherwise. But I won't repeat my old ones. I know I failed you. Please, let me make it up to you. If you do this in the right way, we exchange the feeling of control through condemnation to confirmation and a degree of compassion. Both feels much better than the furor of self-righteousness. Needless to say, this works only with the utmost authenticity. If you go theatrical and create drama, you lose. Be sincere and you get the control of the narrative. If you are in public relations, you might have something different in mind, like spinning the story so that you are still the hero. But you will win more people through changing to their side of you than through spinning, or let's just say what it is, through lying to their faces. I hope for you that you never get into this situation, that you have to take control of the narrative in that way. But if it is necessary, you now know what to do. See you tomorrow.